Well, we've got some time for your email questions. We do. So what's the first one? Are you ready? This one's from Heather. She says, why aren't Christian leaders across this country not speaking out against the way America is treating immigrants? I don't know, Heather. What news are you looking at? <laughs> it seems like every, every past couple of days, every single group has come out uh, uh, absolutely condemning what uh, the separation of children from their families. From Franklin get, Graham said it was despicable. The Southern Baptists have come out against it. The Methodists came out against it. The Jesuits came out against it. I mean, imagine something that gets all those groups united as one. So I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, I'm certainly hearing it uh, from near and from far. So. You, you hearing something different? I, I'm hearing what you're <laughs> hearing, but but what's interesting, Gordon, is is this outcry has changed policy, and now we're seeing the right thing happening. So it's good to raise your voice. I guess that's yeah. the moral to that story. Yeah, I, I will remind people that the detention centers for children uh, aren't new. They've been around. There's one right here in Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley that the ACLU went after for uh, isolating children, putting them in solitary. Uh, and um, you know, we, we need to get a comprehensive immigration policy. And I think one of the problems we're facing is uh, not just enforcement of the current law, but uh, are there parts of the current law that are unjust? And, and when we face that, well, what is an administration supposed to do? Uh, we've certainly seen administrations that have done selective enforcement. Uh, and I think that uh, in and of itself is a problem. Uh, we need to be humane, but we also need a comprehensive strategy. What is our immigration policy? And the Congress has to answer that. And in my view, answer it very quickly. Amen. All right, Kathy writes in, what should one do when you feel far from God? When the things that a Christian usually does to feel closer to God, such as fasting and prayer, do not seem to be working? Um, Kathy, I, I would encourage you, don't try to earn um, bonus points with God. Uh, it's, it, it just doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's not by our effort at all. And the Apostle Paul was real firm on this, uh, that it's not by our effort, lest anyone should boast. Now, if, if you're looking at fasting as some, you know, I'm, I'm going to show God how pure I am or how holy I am, um, stop doing that. Uh, what he's looking for is your heart. And do you trust him? Uh, do you trust his word? Uh, do you trust what he says? Do you believe what he says? And when you do that with all of your heart, then you'll find him. When you seek me with all of your heart, then you'll find me. So it, what part of your heart are you leaving out? Here's a word for you. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Uh, so just start spending time and say, God, I want to know you. I want to spend time with you. Open your Bible, let those words flood over you. And when you see a promise in the Bible, say, yes, that's for me. I believe it, I receive it, and you'll have what you're looking for.